What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for joining me today for what is going to be an epic swatch session of some new lipsticks from Wet n Wild. They have Megalast High Shine lipsticks here as well as Megalast Matte lipsticks over here. The brand sent these to me, which is why they're in this packaging. And in this video, I want to swatch them all, share my thoughts, the pros, the cons. You get the idea, let's get started. So lipsticks in each of these collections or finishes are priced at $2.99 a piece, which is the exact same price as the current Mega Last lipsticks that are already out there, which I have a feeling these are going to replace those. I see a lot of shade crossovers. So although the High Shine collection is new, I, I wonder if they are going to do away with the original um, Mega Last, the ones that look like this with the flat top to them. Um, speaking of the looks, the packaging, these look really similar to the Pat McGrath lipsticks down to the lips on, on the actual packaging themselves. One major difference is that you can actually, if you tilt them down here, so if you like to store your lipsticks up, you can see down into them. So you can see the color of your lipstick, which is nice. Pat McGrath is not like that. And obviously Pat McGrath is much heavier, weightier. It feels very luxurious. The formulas are totally different, but in terms of looks, this looks like it is trying very hard to be a Pat McGrath dupe. And the same is true for the High Shine formula, but for the fact that it is in a white packaging, which now that I think about it, the uh, Pat McGrath has white packaging like this too, that is for a more High Shine balmy sort of formula. So, hmm. Really though, the packaging is where the comparison to Pat McGrath ends. The formulas are very, very different. For instance, I am wearing one of the matte formulas today, and I think you'll see across all of the swatches that I do, they are more of a, they're somewhat matte, but I would say they're more of a satin. They have a little bit of a balmy sheen to them. They're still very opaque, very creamy feeling on the lips. They don't dry or tug or dry your lips out, but I think it is in part because they're not a totally matte formula. I find, well, since we're already talking about the matte formula, let's just keep on with that. The lasting power is really, really nice. Like even through eating, if I layer this up, it really, I get that wear in the center of my lips, unless I'm doing, you know, something like eating a set, something more complex and involved like a salad, then my lips will get worn away faster. But for the most part, light eating and drinking, I only get the wear in the center of the lips and it's super easy to touch even the bolder shades in this collection up. So really great wear time from the matte formula. And even when it comes to the lighter shades, which sometimes, Sometimes, especially in the drugstore realm, like cheaper lipstick formulas, things can get a little streaky, a little milky and not quite even looking when you apply them. But even with the lightest shade in the matte collection that is skinny dipping, it lays pretty evenly. So even though I don't think it's the most flattering shade for me, if this looks like a shade that's going to flatter you, or it's just when you're interested in picking up, I think you can expect nice even wear from it. And the same can be said for the deepest shades as well. You know, sometimes the more pigmentation you get, the more you can notice things skipping, clinging onto dry patches, falling into fine lines, or just generally looking streaky and uneven. And that's not the case with any of the shades in this collection. So overall, two thumbs up from me for the mattes, but for the fact that they're not entirely matte. Moving on to the High Shine formula, these remind me a lot of the Revlon glass, like melting glass lip collection, uh, which I have also swatched all of those that I can link to that video down below. I really love the formula. It's basically like an updated lip butter formula. That I find is very much what the High Shine lipstick formula from Wet n Wild Wild is. They're very buttery, very smooth, balmy, bordering on high shine, depending on how you layer them up, and pigmented. Every shade in here has a good amount of pigmentation. And again, just like the mattes, I don't find them, you know, clumping or sinking into fine lines, wearing unevenly, even as a balmy formula. Sometimes I find I can have, you know, bleeding into fine lines, feathering around the lip area. Not with these. It's a really, really nice formula. However, unrelated to the formula, but something I do think is important, just a personal pet peeve with both of the formats of these lipsticks and is really more about functionality and packaging than wear at all, is the way that the lipsticks peak up above the top of the tube is kind of annoying when it comes time to take these lipsticks out, like take the top off, especially when it's your first time opening it and the stickers on there and you're like twisting and turning, you yank the top off. And on a couple of these, you might see in the close-ups, I have nicked the side of the top on the cap. So there's just like a little bit of residue in the cap or an entire chunk taken out of the lipstick 
in the cap. Bottom line is it can get a little bit messy in that way. And this is nothing new for Wet n Wild. Their satin lipsticks are like that. Even the original Mega Last matte lipsticks are like that. And it's always just been a pet peeve of mine. Just make the lipstick flush or below the cap like this. So you can take the cap off without worry that you're going to scrape any product away. You can roll the lips. I just, why? Why are we doing this to ourselves? But again, that has nothing to do with the formula and everything to do with the format. And it's a $2.99 lipstick with a really fantastic formula. So if you are looking for a decent range of shades, great pigmentation, great lasting power, specifically for the mattes and decent lasting power uh, and great pigmentation for the high shine balmy shades as well, these are definitely some to check out. I will definitely be reaching for them a lot there, especially the high shine formula. That I think is going to be a major purse lipstick for me because they are so easy and smooth to just kind of throw on on the go, especially for shades that are closer to my natural lip tone. Those I can already tell are going to be some go-to shades for me. So those are my thoughts on the formulas, my swatches. I would love to hear your thoughts as well. Have you tried these? Are you interested in them? What are your favorite shades? Let us all know down in the comments below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.